Hitting walls in your workouts? No fear! Expert personal trainer and USN ambassador Warren Hammers Hazen shares tips to achieve the ultimate results and build major league muscle. Warren, I'm sure you get asked by a lot of people how to train in terms of sets, reps, what muscle groups to train, but ultimately how important is it to start out with a proper training plan? Oh, I think it's very important. First you need to establish what type of goals you want to achieve, whether it's sport related, whether it's muscle building, and once you've done that, then you can set yourself out a program or get a professional to do that for you. When I take my clients in, I see how many days they can actually go to the gym, whether they're training with me or they're going to go into the gym themselves. So if it's going to be three or four days, we'll work a program according to that, where they cover the muscle groups within that time period. When talking about training, we often hear three-day split and five-day split training programs. What exactly are they? Yeah, and what that is, is if you're going to be going to the gym three times a week, you're going to split your body parts up into appropriate sessions. For instance, training on day one, chest and triceps together, uh, day two, maybe doing biceps and back, and then day three, doing core and, and shoulders. And then by that time, you've trained a lot of, of those muscle groups throughout the week, and then maybe breaking that up with cardio in between, where if you're going to do it on a five-day split, you're going to split your muscles up accordingly for that, covering all those muscle groups throughout that time period. So how would a guy go about putting together a suitable training Plan. You know, I think you need to sit down and, and see how many times it is that you can actually go to the gym. I think it's really pointless getting to the gym not knowing what muscle group you want to train or what development you want to get out of the session. So getting down and saying I can commit myself to going either three or four times to the gym or even four or five times to the gym to be able to sit down and develop a program for that where you get to train all those muscle groups throughout the week. As a beginner, start with about 15 to 16 reps until you feel comfortable and build some strength. After that, you can add more weight and reduce your reps for a different challenge. For a guy wanting to bulk up and add some good muscle mass, what program would you recommend? Look, I always think that it's that it's better that you train a muscle group once a week only and that that muscle group can get as much rest as possible. So a five day split to me, where I train the muscle group maybe triceps and biceps together and then maybe doing chest on its own, back on its own and shoulders on its own covering my five days. To me that's a lot better and I also give a lot more in that workout on a specific muscle group and attention to those muscle groups and I find that helps a lot more for me. Gareth, talking about guys wanting to add some lean muscle mass. What role does supplementation play? Because we know already that training is important. Well, training is important. I mean, training really determines your energy needs in terms of your calorie intake. So if you are training on a three or a five day split program and you have a higher energy demand, it's important that you make sure you're supplying that energy through your food as well as your supplementation. The supplementation in terms of your meal replacements not only provide consistency, but it's also ease of use. You know, it's something that you can either carry with you, like the Protein Fuel 25, or something you can pre-pack in one of our new tornado shakers, um, specific to your goal. So it could be if it's, if it's weight control, weight management, getting that lean, tone, defined physique, have a look at Diet Fuel, or if you need to gain mass, hyperbolic mass is perfect. Now when it comes to guys bulking up and training those muscles, we often hear testosterone boosters. What are they? The USN range of testosterone boosters, we've got really three products that we focus on. The Testo Tribulus, 17 Testo Methox, and Anabolic Testo Stack. And they're sort of for different stages of your training cycle. You know, from a newcomer moving through to the hardcore bodybuilder athletes looking for something a little bit stronger. But what they really are, it's a combination of herbal extracts that impact your natural endocrine system, so your testosterone production sites, to increase the output of testosterone. And testosterone's got a specific benefit in the human body, especially in the male athlete, where it's got the potential to enhance protein synthesis, that's the growth of new muscle tissue mass, but also it really does lower your body fat percentage as well. And what products can you stack together with 17 testo methods? I would definitely go and pick products from the hardcore range. I would have a look at covering your pre-workout, intra-workout and post-workout. So if it's someone looking to get bigger, increase their lean muscle tissue mass, but continue to drop body fat, coming out with a much better conditioned physique. Anabolic Nitro X pre-workout, Anabolic Amino Grow intra workout the new hardcore Whey GH post-workout. But then add in the 17 Testo Methox to enhance the protein synthesis to make sure you've got that increased testosterone production so you can actually use the food. The food now becomes functional because it can lay it down on the protein fiber and you can experience that growth that you're looking for. Each individual is unique and it's important to find the combination of supplements that works best for you. Read more about the different products and speak to an expert on usn.coza. Warren, just to wrap up with you, any advice for guys wanting to go to gym for the first time or maybe guys that has been in the gym but has been inactive for a while? 
I think the most important thing is to realize that you're not going in to break records. If you're going to go in and try to break records, you're going to break yourself. So you know, take it nice and easy. Make sure that you're getting sufficient amounts of nutrients into your body to fuel your workout. And then because you're just starting out, to make sure that you're getting sufficient amounts of nutrients in your body for recovery too. That's going to be very, very important. Where products like glutamine is going to be coming in, creatine, because you're starting to work out. You know, try and get that in. But take it easy. Take it slow. But once again, know what it is that you want to do when you go into the gym. Remember, it's consistency over time that yields ultimate results. Tune in again tomorrow for advice on how to set goals and more on the holistic approach to transforming your body and your life for good.